Good afternoon, everyone. So welcome to the lotteries for the elementary option schools and, prim and primary Montessori. My name is Daryl Johnson. I am the family and public information um, communications coordinator in the Department of School and Community Relations. And I also have my colleague, Karina. If Karina, you could introduce yourself. Oh, hi everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Karina Cornell and I'm at the Welcome Center and I um, manage the lotteries and the wait list for the option schools and programs. Yeah, so welcome everyone. So just to give you a little information about today um, and I actually just received a question about it. So the information in regards to who actually received the slot today will not be announced. So that information will be sent to families on um, May 13th. So depending upon how you signed up, you'll either receive an email and or a text. And so the reason for that is we take a couple of days just to go over the results and validate information and just make sure everything is correct before we um, release the results to make them public. So even though when um, Karina is going through and doing the lotteries, you will see a student ID. That's the student ID randomly assigned by Schoolment. And so it does not correlate with the APS student ID. So that's just a random number so that it can track anything and relate it to the student. So that is important. And Karina, were there any other announcements we needed to make? No, I think that's it. Oh, and then the other one, I did receive a question about that. So currently because of schools and offices being closed due to um, COVID-19, you will not be able to register currently. So if you were to receive a slot at a school, once you get the notification, you'll just go into Schoolment and you'll click accept. And so sometime in the future, once we begin taking registrations for the 2020-21 school year, we will announce that publicly. And then for those families that, um, because we know those will be new families that are incoming, we can also send a message through Schoolment just to follow up with you and let you know that registrations are available and that you can go ahead and register. Um, at this time, obviously, we don't really know specifically what's going to happen or when school buildings will reopen. So we are um, planning to have an online process, which we did implement recently um, to do registrations for the current school year. So we will be expanding upon that and then we'll also have information if we are able to return the buildings for those families um, that can drop off documents that they can register in person. So I did want to make sure that families are aware about that as well. Was there anything you wanted to add, Karina? No, um, that's it. The only other piece is that sometimes you're going to make, uh, to, you're, you will see that we're going to run um, a lottery, but there's not actually any available seats, but we will still run the lottery so to create the wait list. Yes. All right, so with that being said, I think we are ready to go. OK, so we're going to get started and then the first uh, lotteries that will run will be for Arlington Traditional School. So we'll start with um, kindergarten. Okay. So here um, are re our results. So we offer 93 seats for um, kindergarten. And when you look at the priorities, it's, you know, it shows you if you're a current ATS BPS student or you have a sibling, you are at the top of the list. And then it will also show us that after the lottery was um, ran, we have a um, we have 331 students on the wait list. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll go to first grade. Here we have um, our results. We had three um, open seats and um, the siblings are received priority, so they're all at the top. And then here's our wait list for first grade. And there's 146 students wait listed. And Karina, while you're going to the next grade, I wanted to go ahead and answer one of the questions that Tom came in. It said, what does it mean if there aren't any spots available? And so um, even if there aren't spots available, because that means that there is an availability for that grade, we still will hold a lottery for it. And so the lottery determines the wait list. And so an example is if you're applying for second grade at ATS, um, that determines the wait list for those students. And so if a slot does become available, then someone will be pulled from the wait list. So that's the reason why. So usually the point of entry is, um, the greatest point of entry is at the lower grades, primarily kindergarten, but sometimes someone may move out of the um, Arlington or decide to go back to their neighborhood school and then a slot will become available and someone will be pulled from the wait list. Okay, so we'll go ahead and run um, second grade. Okay. And here are results. There was just one seat open. And of course, here are the siblings at the top um, of the um, of the wait list. And then this is the entire wait list. We have 118 students wait listed for second grade. We will go to third, um, grade three. They don't have any seats available, but then we'll run the lottery to create the wait list. So here's our wait list for, um, for third grade. There's 83 students on the wait list. We'll go to fourth grade. And there were um, six seats open for fourth grade, and then the first um, five seats went to siblings and then uh, into another family. And then there are 66 students waitlisted. And we'll go to fifth grade. So there was one um, seat open, went to a sibling, and then there are 26 students on the wait list for fifth grade. And that will conclude um, 
the lottery for Arlington Traditional School. So we will move to Campbell Elementary. And we will do the same. We will run the lottery even if there's no seats available. So we'll start with kindergarten. And as Karina's pulling up the next grade, um, just something in regards to the waitlist. So the waitlist, um, it will move. So the way it works is people are offered um, slots at the school, and so they could get into multiple schools um, because all of the lotteries are independent. And so if someone, let's say, received a slot at ATS and Campbell, and they may want to go to um, one of those schools instead of the other, they would decline that slot. And so then the waitlist would move up. So the first person on the waitlist would then be offered a seat um, once we go through the next round of offerings. So just an FYI. So just because you're placed on the waitlist doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to stay there. The waitlist does move usually after we finish the first round of doing the offers. Yes. And just like before here was for um, Campbell, you have um, VPS students, siblings, and then um, everyone else. And then we have a wait list, also a kindergarten of 152 kids. We'll go to first grade and at this time there's no seats available, but we'll just run for our wait list. So everybody here has been waitlisted. There are 70 students on the wait list for first grade. Go to second grade. Everyone is waitlisted and we have 38 students on the waitlist. We'll go to third grade. And we have 20 students uh, waitlisted. Let's go to fourth grade. Okay, we had three seats that were offered and then everybody else was um, waitlisted. So there are 28 students on the waitlist. And fifth grade. There are 11 students waitlisted for fifth grade. And that concludes Campbell Elementary, and we'll uh, move on to Claremont. Now we're going to do first um, grades two, three, four, and five, which is a universal lottery. The students do not go in different buckets, everybody's together. There are 16 spaces open for second grade.
So we offer the first 16 spots and then there's nine students waitlisted. Grade three. So there were six um, applicants and they all um, will receive an offer uh, and there were still some uh, seats left open for uh, grade three. Grade four. So there were 10 seats offered for grade four, and there are still a couple of seats uh, open. And then grade five. Okay, there were two um, applicants from grade five, so we will offer those two seats and there will still be some seats open for grade five. Now we'll do kindergarten and first grade and the students are in two different um, buckets. We'll do the first one is um, non-Spanish speakers. There are 72 seats for kindergarten. So here are our offers and uh, here you see the priorities is uh, BPI and siblings. And then um, we have the wait list. And there's 92 students waitlisted for kindergarten, non-Spanish um, speaking. Now Amber, we have one good question. Um, they came in. They wanted to know if you, if families will be able to see the waitlist number. So yeah. So once we send out the notifications, the families that receive a slot will get a notification to either accept and or decline. And then the families that are on the waitlist, they will receive the notification of their waitlist number. And you can log into the um, Schoolment portal, and it's in real time. So as changes are made, the numbers will be updated as soon as those changes are made. So you can always log into the portal and monitor your location on the wait list. OK, the, here's Clam, Claremont first grade. There was no open seats for first grade for non-Spanish speakers, so everybody was waitlisted. There's 25. Oh, no, there's more. Sorry. There's 28 students waitlisted. We'll go Claremont Spanish speakers for kindergarten. So these are all the offer seats and um, everybody here did receive a seat in this in this group. So there's no wait list. Now we will do first grade.
there are five students on this uh, that apply on this in this bucket and they will be receiving seats and there will still be six seats open for this grade level. And that concludes Claremont. So we'll go to uh, key immersion. OK, we'll start also with second, third, fourth and fifth grade first. So um, this um, all these 14 students received offer. There's just one student waitlisted for this grade level. We'll go to third grade. There's uh, one student receive a seat and then there are nine students that are uh, waitlisted. Go to fourth grade. Currently, there are, no, there are no open seats, so all 11 students um, are waitlisted. In fifth grade. So fifth grade applicants will all receive a seat and there are still um, a few seats open in fifth grade. Now we'll go to the Spanish and non-Spanish buckets for key for kindergarten and first grade. So kindergarten. Okay. All the applicants in this group will be receiving an offer. There's no um, wait list. We'll do first grade. There's um, five students that will receive uh, an offer and then there are nine students waitlisted for this uh, for first grade. Now we'll do the non-Spanish kindergarten. OK, so there is a first group and then there is 14 students waitlisted.
you go to first grade, there are no seats available, so we'll run the lottery for the wait list. And here there are 14 students waitlisted. Okay, and that concludes uh, key immersion. And we'll uh, go ahead and move to the Montessori Public School of Arlington. We will do first the elementary classes and then we'll go into the preschool programs in the satellite. So at this time, there are no open seats in, in at any grade level at Montessori Public School of Arlington. So we will be running the lottery to create the wait lists. This will be first grade. And here, um, here's the wait list. And uh, you can see that priorities, the siblings will be at the top of the list. In, and so will the students that completed any APS uh, Montessori satellite. And there are 92 students on the wait list for first grade. The second grade. Okay, and here are the wait lists for second grade. It's fifty two students, fifty one students. Third grade. We have 20 students uh, wait listed. Fourth grade, here's the wait list. There's 31 students on the wait list. And here's fifth grade. There's seven students uh, waitlisted for fifth grade at Montessori Public School of Arlington. So now we'll move into the primary Montessori. We'll um, start with Montessori Public School of Arlington, and these are several lotteries per school because, as you as you know, the students will be divided into. Uh, different buckets, not for kindergarten, but for the three year olds and the four year olds, they'll be in a third. Um, one third bucket and a two third bucket. So we'll run the, the lottery for pre K three at Montessori Public School of Arlington.
Okay. So 17 students will receive an, an offer and then there are 52 students that will be waitlisted for the one third uh, Montessori Public School of Arlington. Now we'll do one third for pre-K four. be two um, offers and then everybody else was waitlisted. So 70 students are waitlisted. They will do the two thirds for pre-K three. There are 35 um, offers and then all the other students waitlisted. There are 148 students waitlisted for pre-K three, two thirds Montessori. Then uh, pre-K four, They are three seats that were offered and then everybody else waitlisted. There are 138 students waitlisted. And now we'll do uh, five year olds. There are two seats offer and then all the other students were waitlisted. One hundred and twenty three students were waitlisted. And that concludes Montessori Public School of Arlington, all grade levels. So we'll move to the um, satellite locations for primary Montessori and we'll start with um, um, Alice um, Westfleet. Pre K three, one third primary Montessori. There will be four offers, and then there is fifteen students waitlisted. Then for pre K four, um, 
that one offer and then 23 students waitlisted. We'll go to the two third group, pre K three. Eight seats will be offered and there are 41 students waitlisted. We will go to pre-K four. There are no, oh, already, sorry, already done. We'll go to here, two thirds. Pre-K four, we'll run the lottery. Okay, two seats offered and 49 students waitlisted. We will go to the five year olds. We'll run the lottery for a waitlist. We have 23 students waitlisted for um, kindergarten. That concludes uh, Fleet. And we'll go to Barrett, Primary Montessori at Barrett. One third, pre-K three. Three seats um, will be offered and six students on the wait list. One third pre K four. One seat offer and then 23 students waitlisted. Two thirds, break a three. Five seats offer and 19 students waitlisted. Pre K four, two thirds. Two seats offer and 17 students waitlisted. Now we will go to the five year olds. Oops. Yeah. Okay, there are no seats available. There are nine students uh, waitlisted. That concludes uh, Barrett. We'll go to Carlin Springs. We'll start with one third, three K three.
to offers and four students uh, waitlisted. Four year olds. No seats available, 11 students uh, waitlisted. Two thirds group, pre K three. Four seats offered and 24 students waitlisted. Pre-K four. There are no seats available. All students to apply have been waitlisted. 29 students waitlisted. We'll go to the five year olds. No available seats in kindergarten, 12 students waitlisted. That concludes Scarlet Springs, Primary Montessori. We'll go to um, Discovery. One third pre-K seats. Four seats offered, 26 students waitlisted. We'll go to four year olds, pre K four. One seat offer, 31 students waitlisted. We'll go to two thirds. Eight seats offer, one student waitlisted. Two third pre K four. Three offers and three students waitlisted. We'll go to five year olds. No open seats at this time, 13 students waitlisted. And that concludes discovery. We will move to primary Montessori Jamestown, one third, pre K three. Had eight offers. 
and 18 students waitlisted. Four year olds. Two offers and 23 students waitlisted. We'll go to two thirds pre K three. Sixteen offers and eighteen students waitlisted. We'll go to four year olds. Four seats offer and 28 students waitlisted. Then we'll go to five year olds. No available seats at this time. 23 students waitlisted. And that concludes Jamestown. And last but not least, we'll uh, move to uh, Oak Ridge, Primary Montessori. We'll do one third pre K three. Three seats offered and 18 students waitlisted. Pre K four. No seats available. 29 students waitlisted. We'll go to two thirds. Seven seats offer. 54 students waitlisted. Sorry. Two thirds. Go to the four year olds. No seats available, all students waitlisted, 33 students on the waitlist. And then we'll go to our five year olds. No available seats, everybody uh, waitlisted. 35 students on the waitlist. 
And that concludes our last lottery. Daryl? Yeah, so I was going to say thank you, Karina. Um, <laughs> so it looks like there aren't any more questions. So I just wanted to let people know, again, um, the recording of the lotteries, I will have it posted on the options and transfers page tomorrow. And then if you have any more questions, please email schooloptions at apsva.us. So that's it. Thank you everyone for coming and have a good day. OK, Daryl, just one more thing. Yeah, a lot of families usually ask us if we're going to publish the data of how many seats were available and how many kids were waitlisted, and we will. It would just take us about a week or so to get it all together and post it, correct? Yeah, that's correct. And so that's on the options and transfers page, and that is listed under um, the options and transfers application data. So um, that information, like you said, will be published usually in about a week, and then we usually um, share it on social media that that information is available. So was there any other things that we might have left out? No, I think we got it all. OK, all right. Well, thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Thanks, Daryl. Bye bye. Bye.